Welcome back. So we're in my master bathroom. And as you can see, the shower's not built yet. We want to build a custom walk-in shower for our master bathroom. Now there's a lot of information on the internet. Some of the information conflicts with other information on how you should build a custom shower. I'm not here to tell you how to build a custom shower. I'm here to show you how I built mine. With that being said, let's get right into it. We do have some pencil lines drawn out where we want our curb. We start here at the wall, come straight out, diagonally across right here, and then straight back to this wall. So we'll pour a curb four inches tall, which is what I figured I need, is four inch tall curb, six inches wide, right there on top of that pencil line. Now how I determined my four inch tall curb, I took this furthest distance from the drain, and I want at least an eighth of an inch drop inside the shower so the water sheets to the drain. So the furthest away is gonna be a 3 8 inch tall. But you don't wanna just pour something 3 8 inch and have it feather down to zero. You want it to be at least an inch, possibly an inch and a half thick. That way nothing cracks. So an inch and a half thick at the drain plus 3 8 of an inch is almost two inches. Then you have the height of your curb to keep water from spilling out. You want at least a two inch, I'm thinking. That's how I come up with it. How you come up with it, how somebody comes up with it, it's kind of up to them. But that's why it's four inches tall. Six inches wide, we'll get into that later when I start building the walls. It'll all come together. So first things first, we've got to make forms for this curb. We're going to pour fresh concrete on top of two-year-old concrete. So we've got to prep the concrete and make sure it sticks really, really well. We don't want that curb to move. So we're going to build some forms, prep the concrete, and pour a curb. We've got the forms done. Before we can put those down, put them in place, I want to prep this concrete, maybe get some sandpaper, see if I can sand this down, get rid of the curing agent that's on top of the concrete, and get a little bit of some scratches in there to help with the mechanical bond. I've got some stuff I'm going to add into the concrete as a bonding agent to help it adhere to the old concrete, but I'm going to do a couple extra things just to make sure it gets a really good tight bond there. I've also got a couple lag bolts I'm going to drill holes for, put a couple lag bolts in where the end of the stem walls are. These little walls, they're not going to go all the way to the ceiling. I want to make sure the top of that wall is really secure or as secure as I can get it. So get a couple things done and we'll put these forms in, brace them against the walls to make sure they don't bow out and we'll pour a concrete curb.
the forms are done. I do have a little bit of a gap underneath here. So this support that holds it exactly six inches apart isn't sitting right on top of the concrete and I can make sure and finish that concrete. And it doesn't matter up to this point to the wall and from this point to the wall because that's gonna have a, another wall, a little half wall covering it. But this one in particular right here, I wanted to be able to finish underneath it, make it nice and smooth because that's the entrance to the walk-in shower. First thing, well, number one, I did paint the bottom parts of these posts. These posts are here to secure the wall the best I can, the strongest that I can possibly secure it to keep it from wiggling back and forth. I did paint the bottom of it to make sure that I don't have a rust problem, even though it would probably take, I don't know, 50 years to rust out. I don't wanna to have to worry about it. So I painted the bottom to give it a little bit of extra corrosion protection against the bolt to the concrete. And we'll mix up Portland cement with these two additives. And I'm pretty sure these are the same additives made by different companies. One's by Quickcrete, one's by Sika Latex R, Sika company. Uh, but I couldn't decide on which one I wanted to buy. So I bought them both and I'm just gonna put them both in there and it's probably overkill. But we're gonna mix up a little slurry, put a layer of slurry in there and then we're gonna start mixing bags of concrete. I'll mix it right here, I'll use this tub for water, and we'll get this thing poured out. It's curing up pretty good. It's only been about three hours, maybe four hours. I did take the little supports off that were holding the form six inches apart to make sure it was all the same width all the way around. I wanted to take this support off right here, especially this one, just to make sure that the concrete was nice and smooth underneath it. This is the part you're gonna see from this corner to this corner. You're gonna see that part of the concrete. I'm gonna have to seal it with something so you may not see the concrete, but you're gonna see the way it looks. I took the other supports off just to make sure they're smooth underneath. It's gonna be easier to smooth out a lump when the concrete's nice and green than after it's fully cured. And I don't wanna to have to put the wall on top of a lump and have it walking around. The one thing I do wish I did, I wish I would have put a lag bolt on the ends to tie the wall down. I can also, I can tie the wall, this stem, stub wall to the wall here but it would have been nice to have that extra lag bolt in the end. So live and learn, learn something new every time you do something.
you like the video, hit that thumbs up button for me. It helps the video get out there and get seen by more people. If you want to follow along for the shower build, hit the subscribe button, a little bell for notifications. If you feel like supporting the channel, we've got an Amazon affiliate link in the description. Click on that link, take you to Amazon, do your shopping. It won't cost you a penny. It'll give us a slim percentage for being the ones to send you there. I can't pull the forms on the concrete for a couple more days and let this concrete cure up real nice. We're going to get on to building these little walls. So when we pull the forms, the walls are ready to go on. Until next time, guys, go make something.